Hi, since everybody is talking about AI nowadays, I wanted to try it for creating Arduino codes and see how it goes. <coughs> to be able to use it, you need to go to this address here and I will put it on the description as well. You can just click it in the description and then you need to click try button and sign up and follow the instructions then you will see the screen first i recommend you to mess around with it for example redmi uh, awesome. and actually you can have quite a lot of fun you can even spend hours in here only limitation is your imagination here i guess First I would like to use an Arduino Uno board since everybody has one already and other common components. Let's try something simpler first. So I told it to write me an Arduino code which toggles pin 11 in every 2 seconds and it gives me the correct code right away. I will just copy the code here and Put it in a sketch and send it to the Arduino Uno board. And it can toggle the board as we are expecting it. Let's try DHT11 which is quite a famous temperature and humidity sensor on the Arduino projects. Again, I am just telling it to write a Arduino code for DHT11. So it is even telling me to install a library which is mentioned here. And it is also quite nice if you are a beginner. Uh, most of the time we forget to install the libraries in our code when we try to use it from someone else. I connected sensor to Arduino board already and let's copy this code and paste it here. As AI warned us here, we need to install a library for DHT11 and let's try to find it in the library manager and which one did he recommend it? From the other fruit and this is the one that it is recommended here and i think we can just upload it so if we go to the serial monitor we can see the temperature and humidity levels no wonder that the room was feeling a little bit cold today hmm. it is just 18 degrees I didn't have a chance to use a servo motor before, so I would like AI to write a code for me this time. Write an Arduino code which controls a servo motor. And also again, it is even telling us to include the library, a uh, servo library, from the Arduino IDE as well. Again, I connected a servo motor to Arduino Uno board, and I will do the same thing here. Just gonna copy and paste it, and check if I installed the servo library from the library manager. Click install, and I'm just gonna upload it. And the servo motor started working. Let's try another board. I like ESP boards because they are faster and they can connect to Wi Fi. First, I would like to write a code which scans Wi Fi. And let's try to upload it. We need to press the boot button for uploading Arduino codes to the ESP boards. I'm just gonna do that. 
and it started uploading. So if we go to the serial monitor, we should be able to see the networks in our area. Let's see if it works. Yes, it is working as expected. I would like to try more complex thing than just you can find it on the Google with a simple search. This time I will use an LCD. So this LCD has a ST7789 driver IC. So let's try this. Okay, but I would like to change these definitions because it is not how I connect it to the board. And also I added this SPI mod too to be able to use the SPI. And let's try just uploading it. And it says hello world. Just we were expecting it. Let's try something more challenging for the AI. Write an Arduino code. Mm, what should I type? Maybe I can ask it to get the local clock data for New York and show it on the LCD. Hmm. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's see how it is going to give an answer to that. Let's try this one. It's a little bit vague, but I hope you can do that. Okay, it also mentions that we need to install this library and this one. And I already installed ST7789 library for previous exercise. So I just need to install this one. First, I am just gonna copy the code again. And we'll paste it here. And also I don't want to change the pins on the board, so I'm just gonna paste the previous pins that I already connected in the board. And yeah, let's the send the code in. So I installed the NTP library from the library manager and reused my previous pin definitions. And the rest of the code is same, but there were a few tweaks that I have done. One of them was this serial uh, print LN lines, which were under the TFT init line, and it was messing up with the code. I just moved that before this initialization code. And also I updated text size because I wanted uh, to make it bigger. But the rest of the code is the same. I'm just gonna uh, press the upload button and again press the boot button on the ESP32 when the compiling is finished. So right now the time is updated account and it is showing the New York time. Cool, huh? Sometimes it fails, so you can try it again though by pressing this button. If it doesn't work, you can refresh the page and write the same thing again. This time I wanted to use DHT11 sensor data and get the internet time for New York and show it on the LCD. It stuck a few times while creating a code and the code was not completed. But this time at least it was able to complete the code and I will just copy the code. So I made a few tweaks in the code 
And first of all, SPI line, uh, SPI library was not included in the code. And I updated the DHT pin because it was used in one of the pin definitions that I uh, used for the LCD. And I reused the pin definitions from the previous code. And what else? Ah, also, print and lines, serial uh, print and lines were messing up with the TFT initialization, so I commented out those. And also increased the text size. So that was the only changes that I have done. Let's try to upload the code by connecting, by selecting the correct COM port. And let's wait for it to compile and upload it to the board. Again, let me press the button. Okay, I just uploaded the code but couldn't reuse to change the background color to red because, well, this is a TFT screen so without the colors it doesn't make sense to use a TFT screen and tweak the fonts a little bit but, well, majority of the code is the same as AI wrote it down and there is nothing much I have done in the code rather than those. I think it was a little bit of surprise to see that writing a full project only took a few minutes. This is not a complex project, but if I wanted to do something similar to this, that would definitely take much more time. I think AI has a lot of potential for hobbyists. I believe in the future it will eliminate the big barriers for the people like knowledge gaps and also reduce the time which requires to learn new skills. It will definitely let people to release their creativity. I have seen tons of creative people but they were blocked with the knowledge they lacked. And once you start working in a job, it is pretty hard to find time to learn new skills. And I think AI will let these people to express themselves. <laughs> no, it will not replace the real programmers or rule us over of course, as some people like to speculate, but it will be a valuable tool which everyone can use. I see the future of the AI is like a search engine, but a lot more smarter. For example, like I tried to do in this video, when we ask it to show us an information, whether it be a code, picture or a movie, it will just serve us the content like a search engine, but it won't be limited to existing content. So even for professional programmers or other content creators, it will create a template and there is definitely a need for tools to tweak those contents. For programmers, it is not of a big issue because they can just copy the AI created code and tailor it down to the exact need but for artists or movie makers there is definitely a need for new tools to be effectively use the AI created content. Anyway I just found this pretty interesting and exciting and I wanted to share it with you. I also want to hear your ideas and see the projects that you made with the AI. If you put it your ideas under the comments, I will try my best to help you. And like always, see you next time.